So, today I got some rather sobering news. Uh, my doctor sent me some um, sent me a message about some tests I'd had last week, and apparently I'm at risk of a heart attack if I uh, carry out any strenuous activity. And um, well, you know, that's a bit disappointing. I mean, I just played a pickleball tournament. In fact, I even won a gold medal at the weekend for winning uh, the uh, top group of um, random mixed doubles uh, pickleball. And I thought, ah, oh, so I had a couple of options. I thought, well, I can either be really miserable and start thinking about all the things I could not do anymore, or I could say, screw it, I need to chill out with a drink and just consider about the good things in life. And some of the good things you think about are, for example, your friends. And so I thought to myself, why don't I make a cocktail using an ingredient that is made by one of my friends, my, my friend Dan, who makes Osakalis brandy. And this is actually a, this is heritage Alambic brandy. This is the fancy stuff. I'm not joking, this is just totally amazing brandy. And a great cocktail to make with that is a sidecar, which is what I'm going to make today. But the other thing that occurred to me as well, before I get on with the cocktail, I was, I was thinking about a lot of people I grew up with, and I grew up on a working class estate, a lot of people have died of heart attacks. I just heard recently Joe Rizzo died, I don't know what he died of. Danny Greenfield died of a heart attack recently. My old friend Paul Walsh, Nookie, died of a heart attack, this was years ago, he was under 50 I think. Um, and you know, you can't help but think, oh, is it because we're from working class backgrounds that maybe we were exposed to more stuff when we were kids? Is it we don't get the education to look after ourselves, get exercise, like all these uh, posher people? I, I don't consider myself unposh these days. Well, I'm, I'm not posh, but I'm certainly middle class and above. And you just think, is there some coincidence that so many people I know have died of heart attacks? They happen to be from a working class background. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, that's a bit of a bit of a tangent now. I wasn't really going to go into some sort of class warfare rant, but really just get on with making the drink. I decided I'd make a side card. I've always wanted uh, to make one of these videos for this drink. It's a classic cocktail. And because I'm using a slightly different brandy than the one that's usually in the recipe, this is called actually an Alambic sidecar in honor of my friend Dan and Nancy and all the other people that are around because that's probably what you should focus on when you get bad news, right? So why don't I just go ahead and make it um, and I'll, I'll just sort of calm down a bit and think, okay, just take it easy for a while, everything's gonna be fine. You know, the usual sort of stuff. We are, it's lucky an easy enough drink to make. Um, it takes two parts, and I've got a, a jigger that has multiple lines inside it. It takes two parts of brandy into a cocktail shaker already filled with ice, and then one part of triple sec is the, is the actual um, recipe, what it re really calls for, but I'm using uh, this orange curacao made in Washington State. Seems appropriate. One part of that. See the smaller line, not the bigger one, otherwise it'll be an unbalanced drink. Next thing, we're going to do some freshly squeezed lemon juice. It's going to be the same amount as the curacao, that is three quarters of an ounce. And this is an interesting recipe. I looked, uh, looked it up. And it turns out that there's a lot of different variations with the recipe. It started out as an equal parts one, but as people's tastes have changed over time, so the proportions have changed. I'm just going with this one that seems to make the most sense to me. And I'm using a Maya lemon as well, so that's why it's a slightly different colour. Um, it's got that sort of orangey hue to it, but I think it will make the whole cocktail just a little bit richer. And let's see, unlike me, my, my nickname for my sister, of course, is Richless. Uh, okay, that's a good one. Okay, that's one part, oh yes, perfect amount, one part of the lemon juice, like so. And because I like it, I like that tartness of some of these citrusy drinks balanced out a little more, I am also going to add half a part of Demerara sugar. And that should just balance it out perfectly. We pour that into there. Now it's a citrus drink, so we're going to shake it up. Oh, not too strenuously, of course. I might have a heart attack mid-video. That would be a bit sad. And there it is, nicely shaken up. I don't, I didn't bring my strainer over here, but I'm going to use the convenient strainer in the top of the shaker there, and just pour this into the co chilled cocktail glass. 
And many of the cocktail recipes for this, uh, this cocktail have a sugar rim for the glass. And I'm not doing that because I put the sugar syrup in there and I think that the drink is improved by that. But what I will do is do the typical garnish, which is a twist of lemon. Just twist it like that, put it on there. And let's see what kind of heart healthy cocktail we have here. Cheers. That's delicious, even though that piece of lemon did jump ship.